Well guys, looks like um, I found the iron as well. I just decided to um, mine some diamonds and get some of the gold because there was gold right next to the diamonds. In fact, I think that might be the back of the patch that I started to harvest. And I just thought I'd have a look around and I've just found this. So it looks like um, all of our resources are over here. So I will be very careful with all this sand, seeing as it's sand and it's very vol volatile. But I would say, looking at this, that if I was to just dig straight down there, then I should be fine. So it looks like, well, all of our ore troubles are solved. So I will harvest some of this. I will smelt up the gold. I could have got a gold block from the um, pirate ship place, but it should be okay. And I should now have four blocks for the victory monument. Iron, gold, um, diamond, and the light wool, light grey wool. What I'm also going to do is enchant armor rather than um, put all my levels into one particular thing. And what do I need? I've got that many swords and blocks and things. I guess I don't need those. I guess I don't really need that sand for much at the moment. In fact, I might use the sand for something, which I'll um, go into details in a moment. So I'll see you when I've harvested all these nice, lovely resources. See you then. Right, guys, I'm part way through my diamondization. I still need to enchant and craft a few bits and pieces with my remaining diamonds. But I thought what I should do is place my four new blocks. So, let's put the diamond block in, seeing as that was the least significant, of course. And we will call this Creeper Mind. Then, we will go on to our gold block which we'll put as still held by pirates yar then we shall place our iron block and because iron's always lovely we'll call it um yeah lovely iron seeing as I just found it Lovely iron found. And then over here we have the light grey wall and we will call this Torch Mining No, let's call it Torch Mind. Even though it wasn't Torch Mind, I know, but it's very start torch mining that we could actually get this safely. So now we only have four pieces of wool. I know of two places that need to be explored, but maybe there'll be more than two per wall, or at least equal to that. Anyway, I'm going to finish armoring up, and I will meet you over that strange structure. See you there. Right guys, it is time to do some enchanting. So, the first thing I shall enchant is... I'm going to have to enchant them to level 1, so what I'll do is put that there. Notice how I've got buckets now. And the first thing, a level 1 enchant, protection. Protection. Projectile protection. Projectile protection and aqua affinity 1, wow. Never had that helmet. Well, never been able to um, enchant one. Next up, efficiency one. Nice. And our final thing will go with all seven enchants. So we'll need to remove that. And hopefully, it was an eight there. Could go for an eight, I suppose. But no, seven. And we get just sharpness one. Never mind. So we have all our tools. I will 
I was tempted to um, go get a blaze rod and some lava, but I'll have to go all the way down into the nether, so... I will see you over there instead. Hopefully I won't need the lava, but I may do. See you there. Right guys, it's time for me to awake and assault the next challenge. What I will do is keep those diamonds here. I forgot to bring bread with me, but I do have mushroom soup, as always. So hopefully that will be sufficient. Otherwise I'll starve to death. Yes. I'd have some more. Seeing I've been doing a lot of sprinting. Ah, there we go. Right. So I've got most of my things ready. Um, I don't really consider I'll need a pickaxe. Uh, axe. So let's see how we do. Let's see if we can get any further than we have done anyway. Okay, lots of mobs. We're obviously getting ready to spawn. Well, let's see if I can get anywhere with all this. Let's gun in them down a bit. Okay. Looks like we need to light this area up a little. Wow, there are a lot of mobs here. Oh, blasted in the face. Wow, this armor is durable. Okay, it appears to be raining. We can take some serious punishment, wow. Okay, there's a mob spawner there. Take care of him. I'm guessing there's stuff in the sky. I am really surprised. Whoa, that looks ominous. I'm really surprised how much damage I took there. Right, okay, so I guess we go up. And seeing as we've got water, let's do this. I don't know how effective this will be, if this is the right thing to do or what, but... I don't hear any mobs spawning, so that's a good sign. Maybe they only spawned because of the time of the day? Maybe. It did seem like there was only maybe... There was probably another spawner in there, actually. Oh well. Do we see anything? Nope, not really. I think that's the fleece box there. I'm really glad I actually brought water. I didn't think this is the reason why I'd need it. Oh, guests. Just ignore him and he'll go away. I'm glad I didn't build a pillar of um, other materials now. He didn't attack me yet, which is good. In fact, if we're lucky, we might be able to go underneath. It's very dodgy what I'm doing. But if I can do it, it's one more. Okay, there we go. Oh. Go away, spider. I think spiders are actually drowning. Right. Interesting. Then here, the cyan wall. Ooh, let's restock our arrows. Restock our torches. And away we go. 
Oh, we've made a mess here. Although this mess is actually very useful. I expect there's going to be a lot of things below us in a moment. In fact, I might start drowning. Ow. There we go. And we're out. Quite safely. Surprised at that. This is the only issue. I thought this would happen. Looks like guests have been spawning outside. And in a second, I'm expecting they're going to start attacking. Although, maybe I've been very lucky and got away with that. Yeah, so we climbed. I'm wondering if we should climb to the top of there, though. Hmm. Makes you wonder. Is there anything on top of there? Well, I know one thing. That's going to be another place to check if we can't find all the walls. And I'm thinking we are missing maybe two. So, see anything in the distance? It was a lot easier than I was expecting. I didn't see any of the ghasts inside. And there's no, no real point to put them outside of them to like, get me whilst I was chasing. Uh, whilst they were chasing me on my way back. But they didn't appear, so... Oh well, we've got a wall. I'm hoping there's something on top of there that's of interest. Maybe something very nice, but maybe not a wall. There's a few places I know that I can go to look for bits and pieces, but we're going to head back to intersection 2 now with the wall. We're not going to place the wall as of yet, but we will have a look in this ghost town, I believe it was called see what we can find. I'm really surprised that the amount of mobs were, were there. guess it was like that darkened area. Um, I'm not sure where that darkened area is. I'm pretty sure it's nearby here. Um, where is it? I think we're coming up to it now. <laughs> yeah, this darkened area. It was amazing how much I got hit by stuff. There's very few enemies there for once. Yeah, it was very amazing how much damage I didn't take. In fact... How is our armor looking? Like, virtually unscathed. That's amazing, that is. Oh well. Right, we've nearly made it. To intersection number two. So I'm guessing there's going to be two walls, but I'm going to be wondering where the heck they are. Got three places to check, I believe. Three, three forts. Um, one was the place we've just been, the tower. The second was the um, gas. Um, actually, there's only two places I can think of that there might be. The gravel path that I was building in the n well, building against in the Never. Let's see if a place that might has might has the wall. Yes, good English make do sense. Yes, right. We shall top up on our mushrooms. Um, have we got any other arrows we need? No, coal maybe. Get some more torches going. Not yet. Right. Um, what I will do is just take a break. See you guys in a sec.